So are you saying that, yes, even those who have that monotone voice, they've had it for years, that we can finally get them into an, an area where they can tell a story and, and, and deliver it in a way that we're going to be able to be in that moment with them through their vocal delivery? I think one of the shames is if you go back 100 years ago, middle class homes in, in certainly in the US and Europe, many of them had pianos. This was the family entertainment center yeah. and everyone got around and sang and they enjoyed it. And there wasn't judgment. Yeah, certainly some were better than others, but then came the phonograph and the radio. And now you could have world-class singers in your home on demand. And it created this class of, well, they sing, I don't. Mm -hmm. And people started to disconnect from singing and feel that if I don't do it on this level, I can't sing. And I think, you know, when Tiger Woods came on the golf scene, people didn't look at Tiger and go, oh, well, then I can't golf. He brought more people to the game. He inspired people. Yet we seem to have this feeling that if you can't do singing at a certain level, you can't do it. And so we've lost our birthright of musical communication. 